Hi folks and welcome back to another video. For the past week I tried switching to elementary OS from my beloved Zorin OS environment. As a long time user of Ubuntu and Zorin, this turned out to be a bit different from what I expected. Stay tuned to find out how it went. Let's start with installation. As with many Linux distributions, it was very easy and straightforward to install the operating system itself. The process I found a bit inconvenient was installing the programs I need to go through the week. When I opened the elementary app store, I hoped to find Snap Packages too, being based on Ubuntu, resulting in a very large application base, but it turned out that installing my much needed JetBrains suite was going to take a little longer. So I proceeded to search for as many apps as I could on the elementary app store, and then moved on to installing Snap support by going on the Snapcraft website. I also wanted Flatpak support, since some apps like Visual Studio Code, Atom and Git Kraken, my much loved Git interface, are better optimized on Flatpak. To my surprise, Flatpak support is by default installed on elementary. It's just that the elementary app store doesn't have the repositories added by default. After that, I had to install some other programs by packages, but the terminal was not a problem. When I tried to install Chrome, since I sometimes find it useful for its node debugging capabilities, I tried like usual with the Debian package, since I don't like the tar file installation approach. But that didn't work out of the box. I had to spend a couple of minutes searching the web to find that I need to install a Debian package manager in order to do that. I installed GDebian. After that, my week started, and I was going to discover its ins and outs on the go. One major problem I found very quickly is that the included email client is not very secure. It does not even support two-factor authentication, case in which I really switched to Thunderbird as quickly as possible. On the subject of pre-installed apps, the photos and videos applications were good, but not amazing. I really liked the fact that the terminal did save its pages when reopening. The included code app was also very good, but I still stick to Visual Studio Code when I needed to open some files. The included browser, Epiphany, is really slow. The first thing I installed was Firefox. Two little things that bother me were the fact that the file manager opened folders just with one click, not with a double click, and that there was no minimize button. But after installing the adequate tweak tool, that was easily fixed. Overall, I really liked Pantheon. It was light and stable, better performing than the GNOME desktop interface I was used to, and it looked very good out of the box. I tried installing the AND theme, but that hasn't worked so well, so I gave that idea up. One thing I missed though was my GNOME extension for clipboard management. It turned out that Clipped was a much better choice and I love its easy to use interface much more than the extension I previously used. It's a much better alternative. Elementary was very easy to get used to. Its interface is friendly and very responsive and it hasn't caused me any problems so far. A, f a feature I missed a lot from Zorin OS is the phone connection. On Zorin, I could access my SMS messaging, see my battery status, sync notifications and clipboard, sync media, and even use my phone as a touchpad or slideshow remote for my computer. But Elementary has no such feature. I really liked that phone connection and noticed its disappearance once moved to Elementary. Also, on Elementary, there are no tray icons, which is very confusing and inconvenient when using Discord, Skype, or any other such program that can run in the background. An issue that has caused me some problems when I was in a rush is that sometimes when shutting down, it takes a long time, from 30 seconds to one minute, and sometimes it takes just a couple of seconds. A big bonus I noticed on elementary OS compared to Zorn OS and Ubuntu is that the battery life was greatly improved. Even though compared to Ubuntu and Zorn, I did not manually limit the CPU speed which makes elementary a great choice for laptops. A feature I disliked about the interface is that when you have multiple windows off the same program open, unlike Ubuntu and other distros, 
it doesn't prompt the user with a choice for which window to open. It just opens the last accessed one. And if you want to pick the window, you have to right click the program in the dock. And even then, it doesn't show a preview of the window. Overall, my experience with this distro was positive. I really liked using it and had no problem with its stability. I enjoyed the added benefit of the improved battery life and its interface turned out great for laptops with very good desktop performance compared with its parent OS, Ubuntu. I consider this distribution very good and a solid choice for working and internet browsing. It's a very good distribution for Linux new buys and for people who don't really want to tinker with the OS. It's a very good out-of-the-box experience with good applications pre-installed. It still requires some polishing and some extra features that could make the user experience better. But overall, it's a solid choice if you want an Ubuntu-based distribution. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like. If you want to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to my channel. So see you next time on how do I tea?